How's it going everyone? It's your man Lost Disciple, the voice box of the underground of YouTube. And let me tell you a fucking story, okay? Now, I just uncovered a fucking well I didn't uncover it. I'm not actually you know what? I did uncover. I'm gonna play the role of uncoverer today, and I uncovered a fucking cult. In, in basically is the is the best way to sum it up. A cult in disguise of a church. Nonetheless, that shouldn't surprise you. That probably doesn't surprise a lot of you, but trust me, it should. Now, this church is, uh, it's supposed to be in Massachusetts. I believe it's supposed to be in uh, somewhere near Uxbridge. I don't know how you're supposed to say that. You know, they, they always say their cities in funny ways, like Worcester, or is that a Worcester? I don't know. Anyway, <clears throat> this, this, this church, this is ran by two guys, okay? The church was called... The Church of the End Times. It was ran by two men, two brothers, by the name of David and Dennis Stanley. Okay. Now, these guys, right, they ended up practically brainwashing their fucking young, impressionable girls that were members of their church, quote unquote, to basically have sex with them and do outlandish shit, like rub their fucking bodies on their trucks okay these people are fucking nuts now this church actually this uh, they were around for some time before they actually got closed down all this actually took place way back in the ye old year of 2012 and at that time that's that was actually half of this year if you do 2024 and divide that by half by two you would get 12 so yeah around that time i was 12 and i could tell you what i was doing in 2012 because it was this article that i read was published in october i was fucking freaking out because the i thought the world was gonna fucking end i did tell you that i was tweaking the fuck out but nonetheless while i was tweaking out these guys were having the most the fucking time of their lives doing all this crazy shit now you know what's crazy now that i think about it that explains how they were able to get away with all that shit though because like around that time we were thinking though i was thinking the young people thought the fucking world was gonna end so they marketed because to peep this right i mean you could watch the the full investigation that i did right here you can click this little bubble that'll pop up on your screen you can click that and watch that and basically take the journey with me but nonetheless right long story short these guys really were only able to do that because of the, what was going on at the time. Because they, spoiler alert, they got away with it. And they did a lot of fucked up shit. Like, there involves girls going missing and never being seen again. Like, if you want to find out, watch the fucking investigation. I'm being dead serious. Like, this, they did some heinous shit. And the one thing that never I never got to was the fact that they never got arrested. We found out who they're with now their future now like what they're up to now but realistically we don't know if they they never went to jail and there's people still missing that have never been found so it's definitely something and they i don't think they've ever done anything like that again if you search their names up they it'll come up with the article but like they have money they have enough whatever it is because they had business before they were like fucking con artists they were able to do that only because of the time they were in. Now, they took advantage of the time that they were in and marketed it in a horrible way, but they got away with it. That's some crazy shit. I don't know. I thought I'd just bring a little bit more attention to it. Maybe I can't do too much. Don't expect the whole fucking Mama Max investigation. I can't do none of that. I'm not capable Actually, I won't say I'm not capable, because I definitely am, but I do not want to do something like that. So, yeah. Um, some crazy shit. It's just, it's just insane that we also share the world with these sorts of people. My fucking Apple Watch cracked again. This thing is cooked. I need to get a new one. Um, yeah. You guys want to check out that video you can it's right here just click that little button or you know what something should be popping up now 
um, I'm still don't have a hard drive device yet I haven't ordered it I don't know why I'm kind of just making do with what I got I kind of enjoy it realistically kind of makes things more simple I think I needed a little bit of a reset give my fucking dopamine levels a chance to chill out I had so many videos written down that I was going to do that I haven't done yet it was just driving me crazy so having a fresh start is kind of good nonetheless if you guys like the video leave a like if you dislike it drop a dislike I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.